Deep inside the male pelvis, behind the bladder and wrapped around a narrow passageway, sits an organ smaller than a walnut, an organ most people never think about until something goes wrong, the prostate. It does not beat like the heart. It does not digest like the stomach. It does not breathe like the lungs. And yet, at the most crucial moment of reproduction, the prostate acts as the commander, the conductor of flow, timing, chemistry and direction. Most imagine semen as a simple fluid, a release, a single event. But beneath the surface, the journey is precise, coordinated and astonishingly complex. Because the prostate is not just a gland, it is a biological traffic controller. It decides what moves forward, what stays back and when the entire system activates. It can close one valve while opening another. It can transform fluid chemistry in seconds. It can change the pH, add enzymes, release nutrients and regulate every millisecond of the process. Without the prostate, semen would not flow, sperm would not be activated and reproduction would be impossible. Why does such a small organ hold so much control? What microscopic mechanisms allow it to direct the flow of semen with such precision? And how does it coordinate with the bladder, urethra and nervous system all at once? To understand the male reproductive system, we step inside this tiny commander, the quiet organ that decides the direction of life itself. Let's go inside. To understand the prostate's role, we begin with its anatomy, a small gland sitting just beneath the bladder, surrounding the upper urethra like a protective ring. Its position is everything. The prostate lies at a crossroads where three systems meet. The bladder holding urine, the seminal vesicles holding seminal fluid, the urethra, the passageway to the outside. This unique location allows the prostate to control what flows through the urethra and when. The prostate is composed of glands which produce prostatic fluid, muscle fibres which contract with precision, valves and sphincters, microscopic gates that open and close at exact moments. Its hormonal driver is testosterone which shapes its structure growth and function. But its day-to-day -day activity is guided by the autonomic nervous system, the same system that controls heartbeat and breathing. During non-reproductive moments, the prostate stays relaxed, the bladder neck remains open and the urethra remains available for the flow of urine. But during sexual arousal, the entire configuration shifts. Nerves trigger prostate swelling, the bladder neck seals tightly, a critical barrier preventing semen from flowing backward. The seminal vesicles and vas deferens prepare to release their contents, and the prostate positions itself as the central director of fluid movement. This setup ensures that semen has a clear, dedicated pathway forward, and that the urinary system is temporarily shut off. But what happens next is even more remarkable. Because at the microscopic level, the prostate doesn't just allow flow, it engineers it. This is only the beginning. At the peak moment of reproductive activity, the prostate begins its most sophisticated work. A sequence of biological commands executed in seconds. 1. Blocking urine flow. The bladder neck, internal urethral sphincter, contracts under the prostate's signal. This prevents urine from mixing with semen and ensures semen moves forward, not backward. This is essential. Urine is acidic and sperm cannot survive it. The prostate protects them before they are even released. 2. Creating the seminal pathway. Muscles within the prostate contract rhythmically. 
opening the prostatic urethra and forming a low-resistance channel for semen. This pathway is carefully shaped. Smooth muscle tightens. Glandular ducts widen. Fluid pressure increases. Direction becomes singular and forward. 3. Releasing prostatic fluid. The prostate contributes 20 to 30% of semen volume, but this fluid is not filler. It is functional engineering. Prostatic fluid contains citric acid, energy source. Zinc protects DNA. PSA, prostate-specific antigen, which liquefies semen after release. Enzymes that reduce viscosity. Alkaline pH that protects sperm from vaginal acidity. Without these components, sperm would be immobilised. 4. Coordinating seminal vesicles and vas deferens. The prostate synchronises contractions across the reproductive tract. The vas deferens push sperm forward. The seminal vesicles add fructose-rich fluid. The prostate mixes everything into a cohesive semen blend. This is reproductive choreography, timed, layered, precise. 5. Final gatekeeping. As semen passes through the prostatic urethra, the prostate's muscles provide the final push, ensuring complete directional flow. Only after everything is complete does the bladder neck relax and the urinary system restore its normal function. This entire sequence, executed by a gland the size of a walnut, is what makes semen flow in the proper direction with the proper chemistry at the proper time. But the climax of the prostate story is not its movement. It is its purpose. The climax of prostate function is the moment when everything it controls converges – timing, chemistry, muscle contraction and molecular engineering. Because the prostate is not simply moving fluid, it is enabling the possibility of fertilisation. At the final moment of release, prostatic fluid performs its most critical tasks. It activates sperm, shifting them from storage mode to forward motion mode. It liquefies semen, allowing sperm to swim freely after a brief initial clotting phase. It neutralises acidity, protecting sperm as soon as they enter the reproductive tract. It stabilises DNA, shielding it during the first minutes of the journey. This transformation happens instantly. It is the difference between sperm that survive and sperm that fail before the journey even begins. The prostate is not a passive participant. It is the biological architect, ensuring that sperm are equipped, protected and mobilised. And its precision matters. If the prostate does not contract correctly, semen can flow backward into the bladder. If it does not liquefy, semen, sperm cannot move. If the chemistry is off, sperm become damaged or stuck. If its muscle timing fails, the entire sequence collapses. This peak moment reveals the prostate's true identity, a master regulator whose decisions shape the entire reproductive process. In the instant it opens the pathway and orchestrates the final release, the prostate becomes the silent engineer of potential new life. The prostate is small, quiet and easy to overlook, but its impact is immense. It is a guardian, protecting sperm before they begin their journey. It is a chemist, designing the perfect environment for mobility and survival. It is a muscle engine, controlling gates, opening pathways, regulating direction. It is a conductor, timing contractions with split-second accuracy. And it is a storyteller, its actions deciding whether the reproductive system's final chapter unfolds smoothly or falters before it begins. Understanding the prostate is not just about anatomy. It is about recognising the hidden precision of the human body.
the way tiny organs execute enormous responsibilities. The prostate reminds us that biology is layered. What seems small may control everything, and what seems simple may be profoundly engineered. Its work is not loud, not dramatic, not visible, but it is essential. And in the quiet moment when semen begins its carefully orchestrated flow, the prostate stands at the centre, directing, regulating, shaping. A small organ that decides the direction of life itself.